Fear of Ebola has been escalating in Texas and other states as the deadly virus threatens to spread in the U.S. Here in Canada, the Prime Minister warned a case could appear in this country. Still, today brought a powerful reminder that the main battleground isn't North America, and it's the people on the front lines who need the most help. Shannon Martin has our story. Ebola does not know borders. It does not know ceasefire. It does not know peace talk. Half a world away from the outbreak's epicenter in West Africa, a passionate plea for help. West African-born Canadians hoping to focus the world's attention on those who need it most. I lost my best friend about a week ago, but then I also, my little sister works at the largest treatment facility in Liberia right now, um, so it's very close to home. Leo Johnson fled Liberia as a refugee. He says after a decade of civil war, infrastructure was in tatters. Now that Ebola has already killed 2,000 Liberians, money is desperately needed. All hope is not lost. We can solve this problem. And the best way we can solve this problem is by empowering local champions in Liberia. While there have been no documented cases in Canada, today Prime Minister Stephen Harper warned Ebola must not be underestimated. In an age of globalization and particularly global trade and travel, uh, what was a problem that was at one time far away from us could arrive at our shores very quickly. Still, the federal government has stressed this country is prepared in case it arrives. A message reiterated this morning by U.S. President Barack Obama. He urged citizens not to give in to hysteria. Out of 300 million Americans, only two have contracted the virus on U.S. soil. The United States will continue to help lead the global response in West Africa. Because if we want to protect Americans from Ebola here at home, we have to end it over there. A feeling echoed back at the rally in Hamilton, where a top Liberian diplomat called for more international aid. We need the government of Canada to send in doctors and nurses to help us. These Canadians want that support and more. Shannon Martin, CBC News, Toronto.